it's summertime. It's a time for joy and relax and having fun and vacation with your friends and family. But it's also time to take some precautions against the harmful radiation of the sunlight. So here I am going to tell you some important stuff to and tips that to keep your summer vacation full of fun and entertaining with no problems at all. The first thing that I am going to talk about today is you drink the agua, water, ow, water, my, call it whatever you want. Just keep yourself hydrated. Keep your, hydrating yourself is very important in winter and in summer, but in summer is of course is more important. Why? Because you're sweating, you're losing a lot of water, so you need to keep your body hydrated. Drink a lot, a lot of water. Fresh seasonal uh, juices, like fruit juices, even vegetable juices, there's a challenge these days coming out, like you drink the uh, green juice, just make this included in your diet. It's going to hydrate your body, at the same time it's going to supply your body with essential vitamins and minerals that are very important for your health. That's tip number one. Now, tip number two, if you are a, a person who likes to exercise and you like to exercise outdoor, it's summertime, so you're exposing yourself to the sun um, outdoor, you know, it's very hot and you run and you're going to lose a lot of water and salt. So my tip to you is you are going to keep your body hydrated, drink a lot of water and avoid the sun heat when it's in their uh, strongest level. The, uh, the sun rays give you a very harmful radiation, which is called the ultraviolet radiation. You drink a lot of water uh, when you're exercising outside, you try to pick a time when the sun rays is not in their uh, strongest intense. Uh, because the UV radiation, which is the harmful radiation that can cause skin cancer, and it causes pig skin pigmentation and discoloration of your skin, it's going to affect your skin. So you have to avoid their time. This time is from 10 in the morning till 4 p.m. So try avoid working out in this time, whether you make it earlier than 10, just work out at six in the morning, seven in the morning is, is better for you. And of course, uh, keep your body hydrated. The third tips that I'm uh, trying to tell you is this, when you are trying to go outside, make sure you wear your shades. And whenever you wear a shade, make sure it's big enough that can cover the whole eye area. It's not, the reason is that why we don't want to protect just the cornea and the lens of the eye. At the same time, I want to protect the lids. The whole area of the eye are so delicate and so sensitive to skin. So whenever you are going to try to pick a shade, pick a shade that big enough to cover the whole area. And if you can get a style that has wrap around on the surface as well to cover as much of the skin, it's of course, please, don't get the cheap ones because the cheap ones are not going to give you the protection that you want from the UV. So there is some lenses that it's written on it, UVA and UVB protection. This can absorb 99 to 100% of the harmful radiation from the sun. So uh, protect your eyes from the harmful uh, radiation with choosing the best um, type of the shades. If you are old and if you have chronic condi medical condition, if you have a chronic disease, you might have, or your respiratory system is kind of sensitive, you might have a problem in breathing and you're going to have hard time breathing. So in summertime, try to keep your body cool, stay in a place where it's air conditioned, so don't expose yourself too much to the sun. That's tip for uh, number four. The most important tip that I'm going to, to tell you today, please don't forget wearing your sunscreen. You're, there are so many types of sunscreen out the side, like out, but you have to pick a type of sunscreen with, S, with a protection, which is like SPF, nothing less than 50. You don't have, like there are so many brands, like they say SPF of 100, that's too much. That's for the people who have eczema or heart, of, they have really sensitive and uh, their skin, they have problems with their skin. We need to, it has to be prescribed by a physician, by a doctor. But for regular people, they have, just need to be protected. You have to apply the sunscreen 20 minutes before you go outside. Then you keep on reapplying the sunscreen 
every one half an hour to two hours not just the face everything exposed your neck your face your hands and try to wear long sleeves and pants to protect your sun from uh, to protect your skin from exposure to the uv radiation when it's summertime bugs and insects thrive in this winter time in this climate there are some really dangerous types of bugs and insects and we want to get away from us we do, especially if you are traveling to a tropical area a ch change in climate the places you've never been before and you don't know what kind of diseases they they have so you might get bite by a very dangerous uh, disease for example malaria which is uh, really common and with leishmania a lot of diseases you can get from the uh, bugs so how can we make sure we don't get stinks by a bug there is a spray this it has you have to write on its content and the ingredient it contains DEET this is the chemical that should be contained in the spray that you're going to use and their percent it has to be between 30 to 50 percent of DEET or there is another medicate that is another um, chemical that's supposed to be in or you can see the picardine which is picardine which is 15 percent Now, let's say you're traveling and we need to pack the most important stuff that we should get with us to avoid any sudden circumstance. I just set up my mind and I was thinking about what are the most important medication that you should pack in your suitcase. So I have a list of the most important medication just in case you have a, a problem and you cannot find the pharmacy, you couldn't find, you're on the beach, you, it's a new place, you don't know what you have to get, so just make sure you have everything in your suit bag. The first thing that I'm going to talk about, which is anti-diuretic medication, uh, it's called the lepromide, this is the medical name of it. It's, uh, you are exposed to have diarrhea when you travel, why? Because of the contaminated water, the contaminated food it's a new place you never tasted their food before you're trying to taste different types of food so you might get contaminated your digestive system will respond to it by uh, you having diarrhea you don't want to work around and you're not feeling comfortable in your digestive system so pack up this medication with you the second medication that i'm going to talk about is the antacid the last thing anyone wants to have while having a summer vacation is to have a heartburn or a stomach ache so there are some uh, really relieving tablet samples you can take with you when travel. The medication that I'm mentioning, it's the Malox, Gavixone. There are so many types in the pharmacies. Just pick the ones that suit you or you have just tried before and it worked well with you. The third medication that I'm gonna talk about is using the antihistamine. The Lortidine is good. Any antihistamine that you've tried before and it worked with you because changing in the climate it might causes allergy you don't know when the sensitivity and the allergy is going to creep on you and give you the most annoying feeling anyone can have like the congestion in your nose sneezing itchy eye itchy skin so make sure you have the antihistamine with you it's going to just please don't take any medication you never used before. If it's already used on you and it works, then you can pack this or you can ask your physician or the pharmacist can help you to assess the most important antihistamine that your dad can subside the allergy signs and the symptoms that you want. So the examples of that, lurtidine and citrazine works well. Some of them, they give you some dizziness and drowsy, but other types, no, they're fine. They're called none sedative antihistamine they don't want you they don't put you to sleep okay you're traveling so you might get in a boat or in a ship or in a bus or an airplane so you might have a motion sickness the motion sickness is just unpleasant sensation and you don't want to have it so there is a motion sickness medication benadryl which is as well as uh, benadryl is a type of antihistamine just what the previous one that i talked about and it works really good in preventing uh, the motion sickness, there are other medication, which is the bonine and it's a dramamine, another medication that can help in um, relieving the motion sickness, the dramamine, all right? The third medication, I think the fifth now, is the painkiller. 
Whether you have a headache, back pain, knee pain, joint pain, any unpleasant sensation that puts you to bed, you don't want to do that. You are going to summer vacation to have fun, so you don't want to stay in bed. So take Advil, Tylenol, Panadol, any pain color that helped you before it just have but please make sure you don't have ibuprofen i don't know if i have i, I didn't pack ibuprofen with me take the ibuprofen if you don't have any stomach problem if you have ulcer or any stomach ache don't take ibuprofen uh, you should ask the physician or the pharmacist before you take any medication okay that's uh, for the medication that i want you to pack Another thing, there is like this cool product that I bought myself, which is um, because you're drying your skin, your skin get it really dried when you expose yourself to the sun. So it's just water that is full with minerals and it's uh, very essential, it keeps your skin hydrated. So it just gives you a cool sensation when you're driving your car or you're just having, it just you feel refreshed. So get this product. I'm not gonna tell you the name of the brand. There are so many brands because I don't want to make an advertisement for someone. It's just there. It's just keep on moisturizing your skin and keep your body fresh in summer waves and heat waves. I hope I was beneficial. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your summer to the max. See you soon. Bye.